Hi, I'm Miss Galata. Welcome back to a very special episode of Library Lessons. Today we're talking about Author of the Month. <laughs> Today's very special author is, drumroll, Jan Brett. You may know her as the author of The Hat, The Mitten, Hedgie Surprise, Gingerbread Friends, The Three Snow Bears, and many more. Have you read any of these books? I thought some of you might have. I think I've even read a book to you aloud. Now, can you guess how many Jan Brett books there are in the world? And I don't mean how many books she's written, I mean how many copies of all of her books total. Any guesses? I'll give you a hint. It's more than five. Okay, fine. I'll give you a better hint. It's more than five million. Those are all really close guesses. Are you ready for the real total? 41 million books. That is a lot of books. Now let me explain this better. Three million people live in Connecticut. Seven million people live in Massachusetts. 29 million people live in Texas. That's 39 million books. But that means that she has more books in the world than there are people in Connecticut, Texas, and Massachusetts combined. Now that is a lot of books. Jan Brett was born in 1949. That makes her 72. Now you might be wondering, how can someone who's 72 make books for kids like us? Well, that's the great thing about writing. It doesn't matter how old you are or who you're writing for, anyone can do it. Jan knew that she wanted to be an author and illustrator since she was your age. Something that inspired her was going to the museum. Have you ever been to a museum? I like when museums have a history section with Vikings and mummies and stuff like that. Now, let's go over some more facts about Jan. Jan Brett lives in Massachusetts. She raises chickens. It takes her an hour to draw just one inch of her books. Do you know what I admire about Jan Brett? Her writing process. First, she writes the book. A lot of times she gets inspiration from her animals. It sounds like it's definition time. The word is inspiration. Inspiration, the process of being encouraged to do or feel something, especially to do something creative. Say it with me. The process of being encouraged to do or feel something, especially to do something creative. Now, once she writes, she likes to do research for her illustrations. Another definition. This time the word is research, research the process of studying materials, places, and people to find facts. Say it with me. The process of studying materials, places, and people to find facts. Jan will travel all over the world to do her research. She went all the way to Africa just to learn how to draw elephants. Have you ever traveled outside of Connecticut before? Where have you gone? Those are some pretty cool places. Like Jan, I've even traveled out of the country. Now that's pretty far. After her research, Jan illustrates. Jan's books are always full of detail. Many times she'll even have multiple points of view all on the same page, all shown through her illustrations. Here you can see the main story, but then on the edges are a closer look at the characters. And this continues on to the rest of the pages. It's like two stories in one. Jan always knew that she wanted to do something creative when she grew up. Let's do something creative right now. Let's pretend that we have a blank page of a book. I'll write the words and dialogue and you'll draw the pictures. This is what the page will say. What a wonderful wagon, said Matthew. Thank you, said Amy. It is my favorite color in the whole wide world. And look at the design I painted. Amy pulled her wagon down the sidewalk on her way to set up a lemonade stand. Matthew followed her. 
Now you illustrate. Let's see what you've created. Those are gorgeous. I didn't know you were talented and creative. Wow, you're on your way to becoming the next Jan Brett. I got all of today's information and photos from janbrett.com. I'll put the link down in the description. That way, if you want to learn more, you could go check out her website. Thanks for joining me on Author of the Month. This has been Library Lessons with Miss Galata. I'll see you next time.